Joining us now to talk about this is prop expert Steve Wolf. Steve, uh, Steve, thank you so much for being here. Hey, Natasha. Thank you so much. So we saw in that interview with News Nation's Chris Cuomo that Alec Baldwin says he did not technically pull the trigger. With your experience, is it possible for that gun to have gone off without him pulling the trigger? Uh, not only is it my opinion that that gun could not have gone off without pulling the trigger, but that's also the opinion of the FBI after they evaluated the firearm. Uh, well, I can understand, however, why Alec thinks he didn't press the trigger. Uh, this is a, a replica of the gun that was used. I'm putting it upside down just so you can see what's going on with the trigger. Um, if you pull the hammer back, as he said he did, and release it, the hammer does not fall and the gun would not fire. If you then press the trigger, the gun goes off. However, if you grabbed the gun like this, which, I, which we have footage that he was doing, He's applying gentle pressure to the trigger continuously. And then when he pulls the hammer back and releases it, the gun fires. So I, that's what happened. And this that's is why incredibly he helpful. He didn't do it. Thank you so much for, for holding that up. It's actually uh, very helpful. Can you help us understand? I mean, some firearms, uh, the, the trigger is a lighter touch than others. On this specific firearm and the one that he was holding today, how light of a, of a touch would it take to actually pull that trigger? Well, I'll show you. If you can take a look here at the, the trigger. So barely perceptible movement of the trigger. It's called a single action gun. And single action guns, all that the trigger does is release the hammer. So this, this is how the gun is designed and that increases the accuracy of the gun. Um, so Alec broke several of the gun safety rules, right? The first rule that everyone learns, all guns are always loaded. So a gun is loaded until you pick it up and until you clear it yourself. Now, Alec might say, oh, how can I figure out how to do that? Well, it's pretty simple. You turn the cylinder here and you look in these holes. And if there's nothing there, the gun is clear. So Alex, was, he was given an opportunity to learn how to do that. He's like, nah, I got this. Yeah, and Baldwin so, stands behind his claims that he did not know the gun had live rounds. We learned that there were multiple types of ammunition on that set. There were dummy rounds, blanks, and you know, investigators say appeared to be live rounds as well. Why would yeah, there even it, be live rounds on a set? Should there ever be live rounds on a set? Live rounds are in the world. And uh, because of entropy, everything gets everywhere. And you have to assume that there's live ammo anywhere you are when you're working with these firearms. So this is a live round. This is actually a 45 long Colt, the, the same type of round that uh, they were used. Uh, this is the cartridge and this here is the bullet. So that's the size of the bullet that comes out of that cartridge. Now in a live round, if you look at the back, you see the, the primer here is intact. There are no holes in the sides and it's got a bullet on the end of it. You don't have to be too smart to understand the difference when you look here and you see the primer has a dimple in it. You look at the sides, you see they have holes drilled in them. This is what a dummy round is. And then finally, there are two BBs in there. But if you shake that, you can hear them rattle. That's the rattle test that we've been hearing about on this case so far. Do you believe so, that it is incumbent upon the actor to check uh, with, with that sort of detail, with that sort of minutia before action is called on a scene? Well, all that we're asking him to do is to recognize the difference between rounds with holes in them and rounds without. Undimpled versus dimpled primers, I'll hold them up. They're very clear, so I don't call this minutia. Uh, I would say this is something pretty simple to see if anybody looked. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.